Hello everybody, welcome to another vlog. Today I am going to be getting a haircut. My hair has gotten a little long and also the ends are kind of ratty and I had my hair dyed blonde but it uh, it's grown out quite a bit. Not fully blonde, I had some highlights but it's pretty much at the end so I think if I get it cut to here we'll be all natural again and I kind of miss being able to turn my head freely with my hair just kind of like flying with it. So we're gonna go get a haircut and I'll be back and let you know how it goes. Hey everybody, I'm back from my haircut. Uh, it's a little bit shorter than I wanted, but it'll grow out and I actually think it's really cute this short, but mostly my neck just feels a lot better. So that's really important, but yeah. Please ignore the loud sounds outside. My husband is working on his car. Anyways, but yeah. I'm really liking how much healthier it feels. I can actually like run my fingers through it, which is nice because before I would get caught like right here and just, yeah, it wasn't really doing great. But we're also all back to natural color, I think. Yeah, definitely. There's no blonde at the ends anymore. So I'm pretty happy with it. It's a little short, but I'm sure I'll be fine. So yeah. checking in again. I just wanted to talk a little bit about some of my reading goals for 2023 in this vlog. So basically in 2022, I was just trying to like read a whole wide variety of fantasy that I needed to catch up on. The problem is that I just kept buying the first book in a ton of series and not really like buying the rest of them. So this year, my goal is definitely to try to finish a lot of the series that I'm in the middle of. Maybe I'll add a clip of all the series that I'm in the middle of. But like off the top of my head, I need to finish the Stormlight Archive and the Dresden Files and uh, the Fireborn series. I don't remember what the series is called. The Aurelian Cycle. Uh, I need to finish the Temerare series. I gotta finish 
I gotta finish Jade City, I need to read the Ryria Chronicles and the rest of the Age of Legends series by Michael J. Sullivan. Uh, I need to finish the series that I'm in, The World of Lupi by Eileen Wilkes. Like, it's just a lot. Like, I'm a little out of control, maybe. Oh, I need to read the second book in The Name of the Wind and The Slow Regard of Silent Things. Like, I just... I'm in the middle of too many things, and I should probably stop buying <laughs> new first books. So I think my goal from here on out, with the exception of the $25 I have left on a half price books gift card, I'm not going to go and buy new books unless they are a part of a series that I'm already reading. I can see myself failing this goal fairly quickly, but I'm going to try. Um, so that's one of my goals. And then I guess my other goal is to just read some more books this year. I think last year I read like 60, 64 books. I don't remember. I'll look and maybe put it on the screen if my editing skills are up to that. Uh, but I'd like to read a little bit more than that because I was still in college. Well, up until this past December because I took a little longer to graduate, but that's okay. I didn't have as much free time, and while I will have, like, a full-time job, it is a work-from-home job, and I'll actually have, like, free time after the job where I don't have to feel guilty because I'm not doing my homework or studying for a test or whatever, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to up my book reading numbers a little bit this year. I've already been having a much better reading month this January. I've already read three books, and it's the 13th today, which isn't, like, a great, but it's pretty good for me, and I'm a decent way through Small Favor right now in the Dresden Files, which is really good. Uh, but yeah, those are kind of my goals in terms of, like, book buying and reading for the Hey, year. everybody! Checking in again for the vlog. Uh, I just wanted to tell y'all, I just got my diploma, so that's really exciting. I gotta, you know, get it a frame or something so it doesn't just sit in that tube forever, but it's still pretty exciting. Uh, in other updates, I was going to include a clip of me building my new work desk in this vlog because it was supposed to arrive today, but it is not going to arrive for a few more days, so I guess that's not going to be in this vlog. Maybe look forward to the next vlog, or maybe my husband will build it and we just won't have any vlog footage of it. But yeah, this might be everything that I include in this vlog because I'm still kind of doing a one day sort of a vlog. I just finished filming some videos, but yeah, I'm gonna keep working on my vlogging skills because I know these aren't like very traditional vlogs yet. Um, I just don't know how people do that. Part of the problem is probably that my camera is like an actual like Canon camera and not a phone, so I can't really like pick it up and carry it around and have it facing toward me very easily. I guess I need like a GoPro or something, but I don't really want to like buy that right now. <laughs> so, and my phone is really bad quality camera because it's not a fancy phone. So, <laughs> the vlogs are going to keep being kind of awkward like this with maybe like a little bit of B-roll and then just kind of me cutting in. But hopefully I'll figure something out where I can carry a camera around with me and actually know like what it's looking at because I can't see what this camera is recording at all. And so I definitely can't like carry it around and hold it out like this and try to film myself. So I'll keep working on the vlogging, but I thought it would be better to start and get in the habit of having a vlog, even if it's not exactly how I want a vlog to be in an end result. Because I feel like something is better than nothing and I'm going to be able to build on something better than just putting it off forever because I don't have everything to make it perfect yet. So this might be goodbye. Maybe I'll add another clip. We'll see, but yeah.